All right, you guys, today we're going to take a look how to make this simple Chrome text effect here in Photoshop. I'm going to go with this artboard size as a reference, select the type tool. I'm going to type in the letter S and I'm going to scale it up somewhere at this dimension. By the way, I went with the Bodoni Moda Bold Italic and I'm going to go down to the font layer, double click, and let's go and activate the bevel and emboss. This is going to be on inner bevel, smooth up. Depth is going to be all the way to 1000. I'm also going to increase the size all the way up to 180. I'm going to add a little bit of softness. I'm going to go with six. I'm also going to change up the gloss contour to this one right here. So now it's going to make it look more metallic. You also can change up the angle of this metallic effect. Make sure to uncheck the use global lights. And here I'm going to adjust the angle. I'm going to go with 148 by 42. Let's go and click OK. I'm going to go and collapse the layer, press Ctrl J to duplicate and let's go to the fill and decrease it to zero. And I'm going to go and double click on the layer and let's go to the stroke, activate the stroke. I'm going to decrease the size 13 position inside. And here we're going to go to the fill color and change it to gradient. The gradient color should be on a gray and white. So I went with this gray, click OK, click OK. And now let's go back to the bevel and emboss and let's go to the style and change it to stroke emboss. And here we're going to decrease the depth. I'm going to go all the way down 115. Also decrease the size and I'm going to go with 21. Softness is going to be zero and I'm going to go and change up the glass contour to this one right here. And with the angle, I'm going to go back to the default 90 by 30. Let's click OK and press Ctrl G again to duplicate the layer and double click on it. Let's go back to the bevel and emboss and I'm going to decrease the depth more 95. I'm also going to decrease the size to six and I'm going to decrease the shadow mode opacity to zero. Let's go to the stroke to decrease the size a little bit more. I'm going to go with nine and with the position, I'm going to change it to outside. Click OK. From here, let's go to the adjustments, select curves, add some more contrast on it. And let's go back to the adjustments, select the gradient map. Click on the gradient and we're going to add some colors and I'm going to change this to some purple blue. Click OK. I'm going to add another one here and I'm going to change this to blue. Click OK. And let's bring the black all the way up here. So this way it's going to add some really nice contrast and pretty much you can customize it however you like. But I think this is pretty nice. Click OK. And this is how I make this simple Chrome text effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.